Hey guys, this is John, and welcome to another Using the Clock as a Weapon video. I'm playing GM Alexander Rustamov. Right off the bat here, this should be real interesting. Let's get at it and see what happens. Yeah, Rustamov is just super experienced. I played him a bunch of times. Always an interesting player. It's developed like this. I'm trying to delay knight c3, or delay um, uh, knight f6, rather, to see if white commits to knight c3, which I think here would be a mistake. Okay, they play that move. Okay, let's go here. Uh-huh. And what do I want to do to reorganize here? Maybe A5. Maybe try to crawl forward with A4. Puts a stop to that. Okay. Interesting. Let's go here. Let's play this back now. Maybe I stick the bishop on F7. I want to try to keep pace with my opponent on the clock, as is the point of this series. Uh, I'm playing a uh, Blitz and Rapid event in Charlotte, actually, at the end of May. So I want to compete with the likes of Alexander Bortnik and Danya. This is a, a very good test. Very good test. Okay. Let's play this. Hmm. Bit of an unfamiliar situation here. Let's actually play this back. Hope you're all doing well. We only get five games in this series, and then we quit, no matter what's happening. So we got to make these count. Should I play for e5? I don't know. I'm debating. Debating, debating. Maybe I should actually play this one over. Okay, he's going to break in the center. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Maybe knight d4 at some point in the future. I feel like I need to get this knight in the game no matter what, so I'll play that. Expecting something to drop in here. Obviously down on the clock, not great, but strike back with this. Force the capture. Mm -hmm. Go here. I'm trying to play this move. Trying to reorganize. If I can get the knight here, that's a dream scenario. Don't expect white to cooperate in that happening. And rook takes d6. That's the point. Okay, let's take. Let's capture. Maybe here. Still rook takes d6 at the end, though, so i got to be careful. King F8 next? I don't know. Hmm. Let's go here. I feel like this bishop is coming here. Okay. Losing a pawn. Not great.
I think his king is coming in too. Okay, I can activate. There's some chances here. Let's go here. Whoa, it takes. Ah, nice. Guess I got to take this. It's probably losing though. Probably just take. Doesn't take. Mm. Nice. Gonna resign. Close game. Close game. Let's go again. Let's play e4 against him. He's a yeah, he's a big French defensive player. We all play a King's Indian attack. Yeah, interesting first game. But like being a little behind the clock did hurt me ultimately. So fair play. I want to play tough opponents, so I'm happy about this. It's gonna come back. Okay, let's go here. Maybe knight d5. Send that in. Go here. This is probably nothing. As much as I would like it to be something. Let's do this. Nice knights going on here. A little bit awkward for black to get rid of them, too. Be here. Just let black figure out that tension. Okay. Thinking maybe this now. Pretty move this one just in case. It's there. I've not played some Blitz on chess.com in a while, too, so nice way to get back at it, huh? Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to go here. Not sure. Take, maybe take. Okay. So I guess F4 is coming. This is the solution. Now, that line was decent, but it took me too much time to find. That's the problem. It's a good position here. Good chances. I think I'm better here. Hey, okay, good move. Good move. Taking control doesn't work. No, A4 is hanging, but 
I'm going to see if I can attack on the light squares. Totally trying to attack on the light squares here. Not much time, so got to attempt it. Not sure I have more than a draw here. Yeah, I think anything else might get me in trouble. Take a draw, I guess. Okay. That was a little bit better. Still behind. Let's not play anything experimental this time. G6 was experimental for me, that last system I played. And that just cost me time in a three-minute game. So let's just play normal. Play e6, semi slav. Working up to c5. See if he takes twice. He'll play rook d1 first, maybe. Can try to win a pawn. Okay, he's going to force it right there. That is interesting. Don't know about that move. A little surprised by it. Let's take with the queen. Send it over here. Now, you can even up material by doing this. I don't think I'm too upset by this course of action. That's a trade. Hmm. Let's keep this on board for now. I'm trying to play actively. Just playing very simple. <laughs> Guess I have to agree to a trade here. Check here. Now my queen feels a little out of bounds. I think the position's still fine, like I'm keeping the knight under control. But I would like to get my queen back in the action. Rook e1. Hmm. Just trades. Okay. Attack that pawn. Move here, here. The bishop c3 idea is kind of nice. I'm up on the clock now. Yeah, he's going for a perpetual. Don't know if it works, though. 
Let's throw this move in though first. Check and go here. I don't want to calculate that and, and run the risk of uh, being behind on the clock. King e2, we'll go here. Now double attack. Should be winning. Picking off all the pawns. Knight moves, queen c3, probably easiest. Mm, let's go here. Taking no chances. Pretty safe with the queen and bishop guarding so much stuff. I was looking for like a knight f5 type thing. But yeah, I think this is over. Oh, he's going to time down. Oops. Declined. Yeah, I think he would have resigned that end game if he was playing against Danya. He probably would have resigned as soon as he lost one pawn. <laughs> But uh, I don't think he fully respects me. But that's okay. All right. So um, let's look for another game. We still got two games in the session. You got to earn respect against Grandmasters. So I'm not bothered. I won't take it personally, Alexander. Okay, I'm happy about that, though. That, that three-game evolution, seriously, I haven't played a lot of competitive blitz like against IMs, GMs in recent months. Uh, so that outcome, one and a half out of three, beyond the points, I'm just happy about how I adjusted each game. Like Each game got a little bit better in terms of the time management. And this last game, even though I wasn't quite feeling the position in the middle game with my queen over on h5, maybe I can pull that up while we're waiting for a second. No, I wasn't quite feeling that. I think it was still fine. It was still acceptable. And I didn't let myself fall too far, too far behind on the clock. Yeah, like I think the worst it got was maybe around here. It was like 20 seconds, maybe 25. Okay, next game. Mr. Pennings. Let's play D4 here. NN. Mr. Pennings. This is an interesting move order. Yeah, some old Indian. Okay, all right. I can dig it. Um, queen e7, hmm. Queen e7. Yeah, let's take, let's take and play h3. This is often how you want to handle this. Let's go queen c2. going to expand. Oftentimes I move this rook and try to save the light square bishop, but let's experiment with actually just giving the light square bishop for simplicity's sake. Now let's go here, guard this square. Maybe look to play c5. Possible long-term idea, maneuvering the knight in. Place f5. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Should I take? Yeah, let's take once. C5, let's try it. I'm just thinking this is kind of loose, maybe bishop c4 coming in. 
create some issues. It just looks like a tricky structure for black to keep together. It could take e6 or knight d4 directly. Take e6, takes f3. I'm not sure I like that. Let's go knight d4 directly. Hmm, backs off. All right. Well, let's pivot this knight now. I think this is a nice square. I don't even think I mind losing the late square bishop. Some really nice knights. This piece looks kind of adrift, you know? Even on the clock. I pre-moved that. Fortunately, I canceled it. We should be seven. Let's pull this back now. Maybe I could have gone there, but I feel like this could be handy at some point. Even this move. Tricky, tricky. Okay. Mm, could be loose. Let's go here. Let's just get this out of the way. Simple. All right. Each of us wants the other to take <laughs> to initiate the trades, you know? Okay, we're going to break this up now. Let's pre move this. Actually, it takes with the bishop. Interesting. I think I would have done the same thing, so that's fine. Hmm. Here, maybe? Okay. So take, I'm going to take here. Yeah. Who's better? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe knight f4 is coming. I don't know. This is just a time scramble. I'm going to sack the exchange. I feel like Black's outplaying me, but the position remains quite tense. Mm. Hey. Ooh, I got outplayed in a, in a tense position. Fair play. Fair play. I thought I had something when the queen was sitting on e5 and I had bishop e6, but I needed to keep the queens on board, I think. I think that was key. Very tense situation. Okay, let's go bishop d6. Uh, let's castle. Could go e5 right away, but then there's takes, takes, knight b5. 
So try to keep a little bit of tension. D4 is probably the best move here. I would imagine for white, no. Interesting. Well, I say no, but <laughs> this very likely is not the best move, but it looks interesting. I've done similar in these positions. And E5 is principled. You know, if white's going to go for it, they kind of got to play uh, G4. But they actually go D4. Hmm. So I could go here and then here if I want. Also just play knight c6. Let's do this. Is the, the rook g1 move looks kind of silly now, right? That's my thesis here. They're just letting me take it. Probably should take it. So how much compensation does white have? I mean, this pawn's definitely backwards, so some comp, I'd say, for white. But nothing I'm losing sleep over. Are they going to go here? Try to trade the bishops? Yep. Okay, let's do this. I think my king should be relatively safe. It seems kind of hard for white to get coordinated here. Maybe king d2 at some point soon. I would imagine. Protect the pawn. I think white's going to try to bind it up with knight c5 sometime soon. Okay, John, you're drifting a little more than you should be here on the clock. Position's completely fine on the board. I think White's just going to poke and prod. Try to find ways to be annoying. This is the plan. Given the A pawn, I didn't see that till now. I don't know that I should have done that. Let's try to get something like this going. I might need to protect my king, though. Hmm. Yeah, I see what they want to do. Very tense situation here. Got to attack. Got to go for it. I'm up on the clock. So 
feel like I'm walking the plank here. Whoa. Chuck, Chuck, and mate. Whew, what a way to end it. <laughs> Surprise checkmate. That was an eventful 50% session. 50% score. Tell my opponent GG's. Really interesting games, all five of these, I felt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was going on in that one. In hindsight, I, I wish I hadn't lost the A-pawn. I didn't intend for that to happen. So maybe a little more patience required, like right here. It's better for black, but probably requires some massaging. And towards the end, I don't know what's going on. Knight f6, I brought that back kind of instinctively because a knight can do a good job of protecting a king. Ooh, nice. Instincts paid off. Knight f6, best move here. Even still, I thought white found some awesome ideas here. Yeah, f4 is winning. Okay, take is actually winning. Take, take, rook a2. Okay, I didn't think about swinging the rook over there. Interesting. That still looks murky to me. Still looks murky. This is all good, though. And then queen a6. I mean, phenomenal defense by white, I thought. And then queen a2, I found the best move. Whew. I took with the king. Okay, rook, yeah, rook h3, I'm not going to find. Rook h3. And then if takes, there must be a mate. Rook c3, king d1, queen c2, king e1, queen c1, and then rook c2 at the end. Wow. Sharp stuff. And then king f4 is wrong. I should have played knight g4. Or king h5. Or king h6. <laughs> yeah, I thought white would go knight e6 here, and I wasn't sure. I was going to have to figure, quickly figure out if I go forward or back. Forward is best, ends in a draw somehow. Knight g5, best move. Check out this perpetual. Whereas going back, gets me mated. Rook g5, sacrifice the knight, take here. It's like a role reversal compared to the game where white's major pieces are getting involved. If here, mate, with rook e5. Yeah, I'm just looking at what the engine says here. Take, and yeah, check, 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 I get mated. Very complicated. That was fun. I really enjoyed this session. And I hope you guys enjoyed these games too. Let me know what you think. You know, if you guys want to rate me out of five, given that I play five games, you want to give me a, uh, a score out of five or out of 10 for my time management, let me know. That, that could be something fun to do for this series. <laughs> okay. Thanks to my opponents for these games. Thanks to you guys for watching. We'll see you again soon. This is using the clock as a weapon where I play five games of Blitz. And I try to manage my clock. I try to actually stay ahead on the clock. All right. See you guys later.